All right, today I'm taking a look at the Lingsfire and Brillo wrist rests. And there they are, and you can kind of see they both have this little curve in here, which is why I'm wearing this glove to kind of show. So this is a glove designed for bicycling, and it has these pads on the sides, and it has a spot in here where you're not going to be putting pressure when you're laying too much on your wrist. And that's going to help to prevent cycling palsy, which is putting pressure on that nerve and then causing pain. Now both of these have that. You can see on the Lynx Fire it is a little bit more pronounced, but you can also see that it is supported with this plastic piece right here. Now what that's going to do is it's going to make this one work a lot better in the long term. I've used both of these and I usually use these things for longer than I should. Now the gel material inside here, it never really lasts. They both last about six months, but the big difference is with this one, when this one deteriorates, it just kind of flattens out and it's not really that much better than just putting your wrist right on the table. With this one, because it has that support, it's going to at least maintain that arch, which is going to protect your nerve so it's not going to be causing pain for much, much longer. Now one thing that the Brillo does better is that it has this rubber coating on the bottom. So if it bothers you when these things move around, this one, like it is in place. It is stuck there. I can still peel it off. I mean, it's not glue, but it, it does stick extremely well, especially to this material. With the Lynx Fire, it just has these two rubber strips right here. This one's better than the one that I had before because the one I had before just slid all over the place. Uh, but when those rubber strips do wear down, then this is going to slide all over the place too. So if these things moving around bothers you, then the Brillo is definitely the better way to go.